कांग्रेस एम पी मणिकम टैगोर है स्लैम रजनीकांत को टचिंग यूपी चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ और अजय बिश्फी Uh, he has not taken any sanyas he is a sitting chief minister that's what he's saying i feel it was a mistake on part of rajnikanth to touch the feet of yogi adityanath listening to this exclusive conversation with manikam tikor nikanth has in fact touched the feet of yogi adityanath has not finished yet or has not been over yet uh, i once again uh, he has in fact while speaking to the media has said that i uh, touch the feet of any sa sadhus or anyone uh, who is a religious leader sadhu is a person who left everything who is uh, not aspiring for positions power and others as a, as far as i know hmm. whether uh, mr rajay singh or uh, Adi, adityanath has left the chief ministership Mr. Rajinikanth should make it clear that the person who is who are, aspires everything to be the chief minister, I want to be in power. That kind of person can't be called as a sadhu. Yes, he is a politician. Mm. He is not a sadhu. Mm. He is a politician. He may be in. He may have been uh, uh, head of the mud there, mm. uh, which which would have been established with uh, some historic nature. Mm. But we need to respect those sadhus who are real sadhus. Mm. and ms rajnikanth has made a mistake by going into a person who is a chief who is a chief a sitting chief minister and touching his feet thank you thank you that was the exclusive conversation with manikam tagore we'll try and get my colleague shirin uh, live with us on the broadcast and get more details on this entire story but as i pointed out earlier my colleague palavi who tracks the congress party said that they would want to create some kind of buzz around this entire story pointing that look there is competition within the bjp and rajnikanth has never touched the feet of even prime minister narendra modi there's a reason why he touched the feet of up chief minister yogi adityanath because somewhere there is a political equation there is a political power tussle within the bjp that's the narrative that be a congress party wants to propel how many takers are there for it that's a wait and watch shirin uh, El elizabeth uh, with us on the broadcast getting us more details on the story shirin uh, give us perspective what kind of uh, narrative coming in from the congress party we also heard manikam tagore saying he is the chief minister he is not really a sanyasi or uh, well uh, reacting to the rajnikanth statement where rajnikanth has actually said that uh, he touches the feet of any sadhu he sees uh and that is exactly what he has done in the case of yogi adityanath that uh, statement has in fact now been taken up by a number of congress leaders while speaking to manikam tagore while speaking to cnn news 18 manikam tagore has in fact said that how can someone call a yogi adityanath a sanyasi when he has or a sadhu when he has uh, he has not been practicing sanyas he is a sitting cm uh, taking up all materialistic gains as far as uh, his cars and bungalows are concerned so how can someone actually categorize uh, yogi adityanath as a sadhu and touching the feet of uh, rajnikanth uh, of yogi adityanath has been a mistake that has been done by rajnikanth is a stand of the congress party not just that we have earlier also seen udit raj also taking a jibe at rajnikanth over uh, touching the feet of uh, yogi adityanath so clearly the congress party uh, has and also uh, you know has been saying because when we talk about manikam tagore he is a tamil nadu uh, MP and he knows the kind of fan base that Rajnikanth has. Uh, his it has been disappointing, is what Manikam Tagore has in fact went on to say. It's disappointing. That's what Manikam Tagore has to say. Shirin, I'm I'm sure you're aware. There's a lot of buzz that was generated after that video went viral on social media. Has there been uh, any reaction from any other opposition parties? Uh, well, while some of the opposition parties are trying to play it down by saying that it's his personal choice, uh, but clearly Congress Party is the one which has, in fact, come out and been taking jibes at uh, Raj Rajnikanth for doing so. Um, all the more saying that Rajnikanth Rajnikanth statement where he has, in fact, been saying that uh, because your know, Yogi Adityanath uh, is a sadhu and he touches the feet. Uh, feet of sadhu that is something which uh, the congress party has been saying that how can anyone categorize yogi adityanath as a sadhu at this point because he is a sitting cm he is taking all the materialistic gain when it comes to the chief minister position be it uh, bungalow cars any sort of such uh, facilities that has been provided to him so calling oh, yogi adityanath sadhu who is not even uh, in uh, taking a sanyas 
is something that the Congress Party has in fact been highlighting and calling this a big mistake on the part of Rajni Kant is the statement at the point at the moment that is coming in from the Congress Party. Shirin, this is the official stand of the Congress Party or perhaps these are voices from senior leaders coming in because the Congress Party often draws a distinction between the two. Well, I'm glad, Anusha, that you asked this question because uh, uh, I also did ask Manikam Tagore if, it, if this is the Congress party stand or his stand. Uh, Manikam Tagore has made it very clear that this is his personal opinion because he comes from a constituency in Tamil Nadu, Virudhunagar. He knows how uh, much fan base Rajnikanth has in, uh, in that state and how much he has power over people there uh, and exactly why he has been saying that this is my personal opinion that touching feet of Yogi Adityanath has been disappointing and a mistake. Because um, um, Shirin, you know, if one were to think of it, uh, any opposition party would be very careful giving too much weightage to any such footage or, um, you know, any, any such rumors of this nature because somewhere it's going to give your opposition or your political opponents far more credibility. They've been trying to downplay the leadership within the BJP and to talk about Yogi Adityanath as, as the next front runner, I'm not sure how that narrative really plays out. Do you expect the Congress party to officially take a position on that? Uh, well, it doesn't seem like because this controversy has been brewing for over 3-4 uh, days now. Uh, but we have never seen any sort of an official statement from the Congress party. Maybe some of the Congress leaders have been, uh, especially from Tamil Nadu state, have been making uh, some sort of a statement. Opposition leaders, one or two leaders have been saying. But they, according to them, this is not uh, something that they want to speak on. Uh, because like I pointed out earlier as well, some of the leaders believe that this is a personal choice. Uh, but clearly, uh, down south this has been become a big issue uh, when it comes to Rajnikanth touching the feet of Yogi Adityanath and that is why probably the Congress leaders or the opposition leaders down south are more vocal about the entire episode. Absolutely. Um, I want to bring into the discussion my colleague Pallavi Ghosh as well. She's joining us on the broadcast and getting us more details on that entire story. Pallavi, um, uh, you know Shirin was pointing out that yes Manikam Tagore has spoken about this issue. But the Congress party is unlikely to take an official position on this. Uh, do you think this is a narrative or this is an issue that can perhaps, you know, uh, hate, uh, hurt the Congress party in the long run? Because they wouldn't want to show Yogi Adityanath as another strong face emerging. They've often downplayed the leadership, quote unquote, of Yogi Adityanath in Uttar Pradesh. But it suits the Congress's narrative to show that there is a competition also at the top as far as the BJP is concerned. I mean, we were discussing this a short while back. The BJP has always felt that its strong point has been the fact that at least as far as they are concerned, there is no leadership struggle at the top. It's very clear who's going to be the Prime Minister. And also the Narendra Modi factor is something which really has always worked for the BJP, at least as far as the Lok Sabha elections are concerned. Uh, what it really does is creates a rumble within the BJP. Uh, if anyone even suggests that there could be someone else who could take over from the Prime Minister as the Prime Minister, I think that's exactly what the Congress Party is trying to show. That it's not that the BJP doesn't have a share of competition. I mean, why just Yogi Adityanath versus the Prime Minister issue? I remember the Congress Party often talks about how under the name of Mark Darshak Mandal, uh, the senior leadership within the BJP <laughs> yes. have been sidelined. They keep mm. on talking about, say, an LK Adwani, Mulli Manohar Joshi to say that Unlike us, the BJP too has a, uh, has a problem in giving importance and credit to those who guided the party and who are no longer, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, so active in politics. So as far as Udit uh, uh, Raj's statement is concerned, as what Manikam Tagore has told Shireen also, it's very clear the strategy within a part of the Congress party is clearly this, to try and create a flutter, take advantage of that fact and also to make the point that, you know, BJP does not necessarily guarantee stability.